10 worst camping games in Roblox. Hello and welcome to Wild Roblox, the one channel for all your Roblox needs. Today we're discussing the top 10 worst camping games in Roblox. If you see your favorite game on this list and you've played a camping game that you think should be added, drop a comment down below. <laughs> ah, guys, I got dinner! Number 10. Roblox Camping. The description of the game makes you think that it will be a fun game camping with friends. However, once you get going, there are a lot of dark and creepy things that start to happen. Now I put this at number 10 not because the game is bad, but rather it was not what I was expecting and I was not a fan of the misleading description. You thought I was the murderer? No. Number 9. Camping 2. Is the sequel to Roblox Camping. Now the reason it falls into the list is the surprise is out. Because it's a sequel, we all know that it's going to be dark and scary. The knowledge makes the game feel repetitive and not really all of that fun anymore. But she has like like horns on, like devil horns, so I don't know if I'm supposed to trust her because this could be the devil right here. Number 8. Hotel. Falling in at number 8 is Hotel. The game actually does take place in a hotel rather than a camping ground. However, it is the next installment of the camping games and the story includes details from its predecessor camping games. This is another case of the game itself isn't too bad, but the camping aspect was just lost, causing it to end up on this list. Number 7. Summer Camp Hangout RP I put this one on the list because honestly, Jason's summer camp game is just played out for me. I can see the appeal if this is one of the first ones you've ever played. But it is not the first one I've played, and the game itself could use a little bit of work. It's fun and happy, and the boom, Jason, spices it up, makes it a little creepy the whole way through. Or makes it just a fun summer camp game. Oh! I did that like basically at the same time! Number 6. Escape Camp Roblox Obi. This game almost had me on board. It didn't hide that the whole point is to escape. I do appreciate that. However, the amount of hidden things that make you die is astonishing. Once you figure out that you cannot swim, the game is very easy to beat. The short playtime made it kind of lose the appeal. <laughs> oh, what are you? Ah. Number five, house trip. This game is in a camping package on Roblox. 64 camping games in all wrapped in one. However, this is not exactly the most accurate idea of camping. Essentially, you go into someone's house and just explore. You are transported to a room full of boxes, and that's pretty much it. This game is just full of awkward scripting, and it's relatively not fun. But big hires, very scary. Number 4. Circus. This is the same package of mini games as the house trip. Why is this in a camping game? It is kind of a fun to play and scary if you don't like clowns, but I don't think it should be in a package of camping games. It is just out of place and it has nothing to do with camping. Yay! Number 3. Camping. This one had the potential to be good, but it was way too short. The game was like a minute long, and nothing really happened. The boss crashes, and at the end, the game literally just ends. There really isn't a story, plot, or gameplay. Oh, we made it out again. Number 2. The Killer. Again, why is this in a camping game package? If you don't get the bad ending, you just get kicked from the game. It's not fun to play, it's not even interesting to watch. I don't think much effort was put into the making of this game, and it should most definitely not be in a camping package. Get out! Wait, that's it, get out! It says get out everywhere! Number 1. Summer Camp. Don't eat the food. One of the first things that happens is you go to eat and lose half of your health. There's no warning or hint. I'm not a fan of no hints if the damage is that substantial. It does redeem itself with the gameplay task. Going in the water to find out pearls was actually fun. The story of the lost kids was actually a great addition. The reason is that this game is number one, is that you die without warning and need to spend 20 robux to try again. Once you get to try again you start from the beginning. It seems like a scheme to spend all of your robux and try to get the full story of the game. Give us a chance to enjoy a game without being broke. Thanks for watching, give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Wild Roblox.